Hey guys, Brant Porter with episode 2. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, aposematic coloring. I'm going to talk pretty quickly because the frog is about to eat this caterpillar. Uh, but we can notice first off the bright orange and black striping. Probably telling predators that I don't taste good, so don't eat me. Um, and the second defense this guy has, if you notice his hind end, I'm going to try and zoom in a little more. Uh, his hind end there pretty much mimics his front end. It looks like he has two heads. Uh, this is for when birds or other potential predators uh, will go ahead and uh, they'll hit that end and he can still get away because you know all the important stuff is still up front. Uh, that might be all I'm <laughs> be able to talk about this guy because uh, as he's going to the side you can see right there there's uh it's gonna be a bunch. Um, so this guy has just fallen out of an oak tree actually. Um, so now we're just gonna kinda of sit and wait. I'm not sure of the species of caterpillar he is. Uh, or what kind of moth he will become. But he actually fell into the water. So here's one of the bullfrogs that uh, we were talking about in episode one. And I don't think I can get through the reflection yet. Yeah, there's our caterpillar on the bottom of the pond. Um, kind of feel bad for the little guy. Uh, I'm going to sit here see if he can crawl out. Um, Alright, cool. There we have it, episode two, intro to aposomatic coloring.